There is absolutely no doubt that a high protein diet increases the risk of cancer. So when you eat protein, you make more muscles. That's fine, but you also have cell proliferation. And what that does, it increases your risk of cancer. Now, I think that data is unequivocal. It's been shown in animals and also in some human studies now. The mTOR also decreases autophagy. So if you are on a high protein diet and you think that you're getting autophagy, you've just turned it off because of mTOR. Because I mentioned that earlier on in my talk. It turns off mTOR. So how much protein should you have? Well, not a lot. How much is not a lot? Well, you're not growing. You're not lactating. Um, you've all passed puberty. Um, you're not bodybuilders. 0.35 per pound. That's it, grams per pound. So I weigh 150, so 50 grams of protein. That's all I need. And I'm going to get enough of that in my regular diet. Taking protein powder, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Cut it out. We did it. We all did it. I did it for a while. You will notice your sugar levels go up because it stimulates uh, your insulin production as well. And it's got a lot of glucose in it. And it will cause IGF-1 levels to go up. And it increases protein synthesis, risk of cancer, and decreases autophagy. Now, I just tell you that autophagy is so important. And here, this thing turns it off. Don't do protein bars, for goodness sake. You don't need it. And nature doesn't give you protein on its own. It gives it to you in the form of meat. You want some protein? Go and eat the meat. You want some protein? Go eat the chicken or the fish. And make sure it's nice and lean and not fed on corn because then you'll get too much omega-6 as well.